Yes, hello everyone and good morning to some parts of this world right now. For us here in Germany, it's the second session already. I'm going to start it slow again and then let's see how we are going because I also can see some of your videos. And if I think it's looking good, then maybe we can continue and integrate it, for example, into another practice again. But for right now, just try to copy the movements, just try to repeat. And especially, as I mentioned in the very, very first video of this weekend practice, even if you don't see a large movement, there is always some type of movement. So if you don't see it very large, then it is because it's smaller and it's not too obvious for the eye but there is no stagnation inside the practices that we are doing right now in this weekend. Yes. So therefore, let's start. Feet together. Inhale, exhale three times. Inhale, exhale, second time, inhale, exhale, third time, inhale, exhale. Actually, bow, inhale, open the elbows, exhale, sink. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, up chest level. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, chest level. Left leg out. Exhale. Inhale, push up on the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Second time in. Out. Three, in, and out, and one more time, in, out, bring the hands in front of the body, slightly cross, open, Inhale, turn the hands out, cross, 
inhale open the chest and out cross fingers to the front open the chest turn the palms exhale One more time, inhale, and out. Then movement becomes larger. Inhale sideways, outward, backward, palm, up, down. Out, back, down, up. Center. Open, fingers out, backwards, palm. Up on the heels, open the elbows. Center. Center downwards and continue. Open sideways, back, down, up, down. And one final time. Open sideways, back way down up open center then lifting from the ground up Open. Then reverse palms front sideways up. sink open yeah, go slow concentrate palms face the crown enter the center Open. Point at the crown. Enter.
one more time open point at the crown enter back to the center and from here inhale one time change the palm center drop Inhale, take, step out, open, one, turn, you turn to the center, Transition, open the elbows, palm, push, extend, small finger, up, turn, palms upwards, cross the palm, elbow, lift, open the chest sideways. Extend. Small finger, rotate. Front. Cross. Center. Center. Palms slightly extend. Turn the wrist. Center upwards. Twist behind the head. Extend. Turn the wrist, flip the palm, sink, open sideways, right arm over the left arm left arm support look to the left extend the finger turn back to the center open Transition to the front, cross palm, open the chest, back to the center, open the sideways, second time, left arm over the right arm, look to the right finger extend back to the center open
turn to the center. And we repeat this movement one more time. Hands in front of the palm, in front of the heart, in front of the chest, both palms together. Change. Focus on the center. Focus on next center. Separate slowly. Arms, legs, step out. Starting position. Turn. Pull back, flip, palm to the front, rotate, transition, cross the palms on the way back, lift the elbow. Open sideways, extend, small finger up, rotate, back to the front, cross palm, come back, And extend upwards. Turn the wrist. Flip the palm. Back to the center. Extend downwards and front, rotate the wrist, flip the palm, fingers up first, twist behind the head, open the chest, extend, rotate the wrist, flip Enter into the center. Downwards. Open sideways. Right arm over the left arm. Look to the left. Then back to the center, open, rotate, back to the center, cross palm, open the chest, sink, open sideways, Come to the front, left arm over the right arm. Look to the right. Extend, center. Open. Rotate.
one time so mm, some heavy clouds at the moment are starting to appear so just in case you see that i'm disappearing somehow then it only means i'm looking for some space where the lightning cannot strike me so but until then we continue yeah same exercise like we just did right now but now a little bit more fluent even so beware there is no stagnation in any of this movement there is no stagnation in any of this movement so i just saw the question where do i breathe i breathe with the complete body i breathe with everything that i regard as breath if you think the breathing only takes place in the lungs well then it means you only breathe with the lungs if you think the breath takes place in the chest then probably you will only do chest breathing if you have the sensation and the perception that your breath is happening from your abdomen area then you make abdominal breathing and if your perception is that the breath takes place throughout your complete body throughout your complete skin throughout your complete um, shell then you breathe with the complete body so yeah now the heavy rain is gonna start but we still do one more time
I told you it's going to be very wet, so I try to search for a safe place right now, so be right back. Okay, everybody's back. I think we find a spot so we can uh, continue. Okay, let's go together again. Place the feet together. Both palms in front of the chest. Inhale one time. Place your attention center. Drop. Inhale, release downwards, open, turn, flip the palm, pull back. to the front, small finger upwards first, turn, back, on the way back start to cross, lift the elbows, open sideways, Extend. Arms up. Back to the center. Palms up. Towards yourself. Downwards. Up. Extend. Turn, flip, and sink. Both palms extend downwards front. Turn, down, up. Twist behind the head. Extend. Turn the wrist. Flip. Crown. Center. Separate. Sideways, open to the front, right arm over left arm, extend, back to the center, open, back to the front, center. Sideways, open, 
front, left over right, extend, back to the center, open, back to the front, return to the center, and side raise, release. Come a little bit closer right now, so then maybe uh, you can see the movements a little bit more, uh, maybe better. Yeah, so from the beginning from here. Yeah, slide the palms first center. Drop below the navel area, slightly below. Then from here, open sideways, your palms are facing downwards. Bring the palms to the front, flip the palms. Open the fingers, open the fingers, then from here, turn the arm, the wrist, all joints, turn, yeah. turn, 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 now the first turn here you see, the palm is still facing outwards throughout the complete turn. Uh, it's still facing outwards. So, completely, completely turn. Then comes the point where you feel you cannot turn anymore. Yeah, here, it's difficult to turn more. That's why from here you just raise the palm. One, two, now the small finger uh, is almost outwards, uh, inwards, inwards, up, up, up. Uh, then you realize now difficult, again, you cannot turn more because Everything is closed here already. So therefore, we start to bring back the arms towards the chest. And now we open to the front. And we open to the front and extend. Now, on this extension, your fingers are pointing upwards. Before we return, first inwards, lift the elbows. Turn. Come back. Now, on the way back, on the way back, you start also to cross the palms. On the way back, we cross the palms. Now, elbow move up. Yeah. Elbow.
the cross palms, they go to the inside elbows, moving upwards. And then from here, you just open and place both hands here, left and right from you. You are ready to extend. So now we are in second position. Again, the turn. One, rotate until the finger don't move anymore. Palm up, front. Back, they are centered lightly. Back, both palms towards yourself, back, and now up, extend. Rotate, flip, downwards, also here, extend the palm, uh, similar like the first movement, extend the palms, then rotate. Now this movement, next one, look. The fingers, the yeah, the move from, from here down, up, down, rotate, flip, fingers, come up, twist behind the head. Extend, rotate, flip, return back, good, then next one, open sideways, open sideways like the initial movement. Then right arm over the left arm. Spine stays straight, but turn and watch extend the finger. The knees, uh, come back to the center, open, rotate, come to the front, cross, palm towards myself, palm down, back, and Open again, left over right this time, same, left arm extend, lower arm support, back to the center, open. Turn to the center. Good. 
Okay. So somebody was asking before, how are, um, yes, exactly this question. Do we have the knees slightly bent? And the answer is, it's straight, but not straight. And it is round, so bent, but not bent. Yeah, I hope this answer helps you. This is the answer that I get from my masters as well. It is straight, but not straight. It's bent, but not bent. So. Okay. I think the rain left some... Left some... Marks on on the equipment that's why maybe it could happen that right now um, you don't see me or i don't see you i'm not sure at the moment ah, anyway so now somehow it's not perfect, but I can still see you. Yeah, so the main, um, the main idea about how you're standing, especially now in this type of practice that we did um, this complete weekend, to, to let, yeah, sometimes you call it, you're searching for the flow. I don't know. Sometimes you call it like this, but in order for something to flow, no matter what, type of flow you talk about in order for something to flow you must remove everything on the path of that flow whatever that flow is that would prevent this flow from losing its fluidity losing its movement losing its energy so there are many ways how you might express this, but that means you must remove everything that is causing stagnation, that is causing blockages, or that is causing anything which is restricting the flow to express itself. And at least from my perspective right now, Not everything is about flow, but this aspect of what nowadays we call maybe flow, I think is a very, very important and essential practice within, within a variety of other aspects that need to be trained as well, which means the hard parts. Yeah, we need the soft parts but we also need the hard parts as well. So, and just to show you, for example, right now, I think, please just, um, just watch and maybe some things start to make sense to you. So for example, Now, just watch this routine very lightly, very lightly.
so yes this was the the short short routine and it's really just the beginning so but i think for all of us or all of you that are actually joining all of this training for some time yes take it as a small challenge take it as a challenge in order to just learn and yeah in the beginning you need it helps you maybe to watch these videos where you have exactly the guidance so lift the arms come to the front extend the palms rotate palms upwards backwards yeah so this type of guidance is very very helpful but ultimately you want to um, make it by yourself you don't need anybody telling you what to do in that sense and this would be the first goal so that means to just copy these movements right now and try to remember that routine in the beginning there is no other way than copying and remembering these uh, routines but there comes the time when when this movement is not going to be about remembering something and um and yeah remembering something and then just just doing it no it's gonna express itself it is going to express itself and especially this type of practice it's very very soft which means don't add any tension and this also implicates so how are my knees now? If you feel that you are standing and feel there is too much pressure on the knees, something is wrong. If you feel your, your muscles are too tense in the thighs or in the calves or anything like this, then you're standing wrong. Like I said, this type of practice right now, the purpose, the emphasis is that you get into this, yeah, Flow. I actually don't like so much to use this word flow, but many people nowadays use it. So that's why I'm also telling you flow. Why? Because this softness, this soft part of practice, this very, very fine part of practice in the Shaolin Kung Fu, in the Shaolin Temple, in the Shaolin Arts, it's just one aspect of the whole. It's just one aspect of the whole. So that means, at least for us, we don't only do soft practice. We also do hard practice. Very, very physically demanding practice. And at the end, what it means is the soft and the flowing yeah, this softness here, this soft part. Sometimes you can also say it's, it has no form, it's formless. Yes, because the soft, the weak, the potential, the formless, that is this type of area. And then we have at the same time, not just the formless, then we have the form. Yeah, and the form has is energy stagnated. So this why in the Baduan Jin number eight, no number seven, for example, we have The movement, this movement is called clenching the fists and gazing angry. Yeah, but definitely it is clenching the fist. So why is it called clenching the fists? Because when you start to clench the fist, the, the blood also starts to stagnate. 
the blood also starts to stagnate the blood starts yeah to uh, your energy starts to manifest it starts to shape it starts to take a form yeah then the shaolin kung fu is about merging learning that this lifetime right now we always need both we need the soft aspects we need the soft aspects but then at least for us also the hard aspects and now for example with the lohan the first exercise of the lohan set um, so you can also see it also has it inside Yeah. And this is the reason why nowadays it is said there is no there is no kung fu without qigong. You cannot have the hard without the soft. But because we are living right now, uh, yeah, in some times that are that are dominated very much by separation. The normal aspect that's happening is, yeah, you see on the one side there is this soft type of practice. So it's so soft and it is so slow. So I think that is only made for the old people. So Tai Chi Chuan, Qi Gong, okay, this is for the old people. But I am still young, I am still fresh, I want to have my six pack on the beach. I want to look good, so you need the hard training. So that's why I better make Kung Fu instead of the soft style. Yeah, and this is how it happened that nowadays, if you go to any Kung Fu school or you just look at the schools around you, the Kung Fu training and the Qigong training somehow always are separated. But this, this external separation is already then starting to uh, to demonstrate just the wrong methods it seems like that you can choose whether you want to have the soft part or the the hard part yes but it is only a question of um we need both but it's about the focus it's about where is your focus you can focus on internal on softer aspects about yourself but also you can focus on harder aspects about yourself because these internal methods they are for example there no matter how you express it right now if you say it is to increase your energy level it is to increase your vitality it is to increase your internal power up to you you can choose however you want to express it it's something ar uh, around this expression yes but what do you do with this internal power if you don't have a form if you don't have anything where this internal power is able to express itself it is like you have the greatest idea that humanity ever brought out but you find no way how to express it. You have the idea in your mind, but you don't find a way how you could express it to other people around this world. So then the question is, for what is the greatest idea that you have in the mind, if it stays in the mind? 
And this is why we say the inside, the outside, the left, the right, the soft, the hard, the internal, the external, they are the same. They come from the same source and you cannot separate them. You cannot separate them. It is like you try to live this life and again you choose the preference that I don't want to, to have rain. Well, no. That's obviously this is not going to work. And if you have this type of life attitude, the chances are very high that a lot of days in this lifetime are going to be wasted already because you started to take a preference. Of course, this is not an easy approach and it is not an easy way of looking at the things in this world. Of course, it's not easy. That's why all the time we have all these training methods. Because the principles, most of you that are joining right now this training, I assume you are non-martial artists. Yes, you are non-martial artists. Nevertheless, what the movements that I'm sharing with you right now, the principles that I'm sharing with you right now, everything that I, everything that I share in all different types of talks since the last 11 years, they come from the martial art field. Because the important part is not the hard punch. The important part is how do you get the hard punch? And this hard punch, for some, you understand it really as the hard punch. And for other things, for, for other people, for another state of the mind, you understand it as how do I make energy take form? How do I make, how do I put energy into form? You cannot just do how you want. You need structure. You need different principles. You need knowledge about. You need, you need to observe how this universe, how this nature is already doing it since billions and billions of years. We humans don't need to reinvent. Everything I try to, to share is there is nothing that you need newly. I don't give you a number one is I don't give you anything. This is number one. I don't give you anything. The second thing is you are not searching for something. Okay? Very important. You don't receive anything from me and you also are not searching for anything. You are only uncovering something. You are starting to uncover things that are there all the time inside yourself already. You already have it. You already have the knowledge. You already possess everything you need to know to live a good life. It's just that it is covered. It's covered. And this is why the Shaolin way, the Buddhist way, very often it is about uncovering. It's about uncovering. It's like taking everything off from you. It's not about adding something on top of you. Yeah? It's not about adding anything on top of you. It's about subtracting. It's about taking away all the ideas, the concepts, the theories, the beliefs, whatever you have that is blocking you. Actually, it's not blocking you. It's blocking the flow, if you like to call it like this. So the complete approach is to get rid of everything that is limiting you. 
And yeah, why do I like this, this way so much? Because I think it's the only way which is freely available to everybody in this world. Why? Because the only thing you need to do is to pay attention to the stuff you yourself are doing. You don't need to drive anywhere. You don't need to have a special location. You don't need to have special food. You don't need to have special drink. You don't need to wear special clothes. Yeah? You can do it just wherever you are standing because the question of life, the question of What all of it is about, only you can answer for yourself. And yes, this is the great, the great heritage, I think, of all of these practices, that it's about self-observation. Self and in the moment where you start to observe yourself better, you start to get the feeling what it means when the people sometimes talk about be in the presence. Don't think, just do. But it's very easy to misunderstand these sayings. And this is why we need to have some reference. A reference, how does it feel, this flow state? How does it feel to be in this here and now? How is the here and now different from dwelling and thinking past and future. Yeah? Very important is we need to have reference points. Refer reference points, yes. Also in the martial art, for example. Now for, see, look, and I stand right now here. And I do uh, this movement. Now I'm asking you, so was that the left movement or the right movement? Or this one? So is that an upward movement or is that a downward movement? So, apparently it is, yeah, it is complete, it is whole, it is both. You cannot just say it's a left movement. You also cannot say it's just the up movement. Yeah, it has, no, it's not difficult to answer. It's just difficult if you try to make sense from it in the mind. Then it becomes weird. It's balanced. You can call it, it is a balanced move. Because the amount of, the amount of what goes up here, it goes down. Then reverse. Now, but that's only half the truth, because how do you know that you are really having a perfect balanced spot? It is because you need to have a, a reference point. So the reference point, for example, right now here, um, yeah, I just take, it's right in between here where my fist is right now, here is sitting the fixed, the fixed reference point. It's right here. Then comes my left palm here. Yeah, imagine it's here. So, And once I know that my reference point is right here, and now I start to move, yeah, my reference point does not move.
Okay? My reference point does not move. Because if the reference point moves, it is starting to become very, very difficult for the beginner. For the beginner to keep the state of harmony and balance. Yes. If you cannot keep the reference point steady at one place, it's very, very, very difficult to attain equilibrium, balance, harmony, a complete movement, doesn't matter how you call it. And what is it at the end that is establishing the, the reference point? No, not success. It is your mind. Your mind is establishing the reference point. You put it, so you need to keep the reference point always on your mind. Yeah, and for example, in the movements that we did this weekend, so in front of the heart, in front of the heart, then still the heart center. Still the heart center. Then you drop. Now it's physical center. Here. Here. Before it was here, now it starts to be here. So it's not easy. The movement is not, um, it's not everything. Those small and ancient forms, this is why I like them so much. They have so many small details in it. Yeah, it's just great. Now, anyway, unfortunately, I actually wanted to give you the chance to um, just ask some questions. But at the moment, like I told you, um, the laptop here somehow has some short circuits in the head probably so it somehow doesn't seem to work properly anymore i mean i still sometimes see some questions popping up there but uh, yeah let's try in case you have uh, any questions right now maybe just uh yeah just just write them if i can read them i'm going to answer them for you and if not then see you yeah see you soon again yeah and by the way, yes, so when you listen again to the videos from one until four later this weekend, sometimes I say center and sometimes I say separate. Yeah, center I refer to very often, it's the center of yourself. Yeah, so from here, yeah, give some purpose to the movements that you do. Every movement has a purpose. If a movement would not have a purpose, it's quite pointless to do it. Now, the very beginning, for us very often, Shaolin practice, Kung Fu practice, Qigong practice, meditation practice, very often you see us putting the palms right in front of the heart right in front of the chest now you have every human we have two hands and we also have two brain halves but when we start our training there is this initial posture to merge merge the palms together and not merge them somewhere merge them at the heart level merge them at the heart level so what is the meaning of it what i this is the external 
movement somebody can see about you. But what are you doing on the inside? On the inside, you practice. Practice. It's not you do it, yeah? We practice in order to put some heart into what you do. Because there is a saying, if you are doing things, no matter what it is, and it's not your heart, which is inside your actions, then these actions, they become kind of, yeah, it's kind of purpose. Uh, yeah, it's, you are not going to feel well doing them. You will find excuses in order to avoid them. Yeah, you will find many ways how to get rid of this situation as quickly as possible. Why? Because whatever you're doing there is not fulfilling your heart. On the opposite, when you do something with heart, which means you love to do it, you like to do it, you give a purpose why you do it, yeah? It's filled up with your heart, it's filled up with your joy, then these are the times you better don't want them to end. So, and therefore, to remind ourselves this practices that we do right now, it is important what happens on the inside and it is important what emotional state and what mental state you are investing into this practice. And so therefore, center heart. Center heart. Now drop to the lower center. Yeah, and the reason why I don't call them right now Dantian is because I cannot tell you honestly. What is the Dantian? I don't know. I know the expression. I know it is used in many different teachings, in many different, but I just cannot tell you what it is. And therefore, I'm sure when I use these terms, I call them center. I am sure there is the center between your eyebrows, there is the center behind your solar plexus, and there is the center behind your navel area. About them, I'm sure of, but I'm just not sure about if what you can read about the Dantian, if, yeah, if all different teachings talk about the same when they refer as Dantian. That's why at the moment I do not prefer to talk too much about them. Yeah, but anyway, I think for right now it's not really important. Yes. Um, okay. So all um, sessions have been recorded also in a higher quality version. I will upload them later. So, and then something, something more in regards to the, the group. Yeah, maybe you know that there is a group on Facebook, for example, that was established in order for you to just exchange also with, um, with other people and also practice together and make it completely on your own. And sometimes I also have the time to, to watch in just to see how your spirit over there is. And the thing is like this. Number one is always, yeah. I don't know any of you. Yeah, I actually have most probably, unless you have been here in the monastery or we met somewhere at the retreat, the first thing is I normally do not know you. Even if I see your profile picture somewhere, but I still don't know you. I know your profile picture. I don't know you. That's why no matter what I write, I don't write it personally to you. 
And this is the first thing why don't take anything personal. So if, for example, you try to post, some, to post something and it is like uh, uh, rejected, it wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't do it. It was the program, it was the algorithm on Facebook which is separating the, yeah, I don't know how he's using it, but he tries to manage that not, that not everybody is posting every two minutes something um, that's just not necessary. So please, therefore, keep, keep the post. If you think this is something that is benefiting for the group, then feel free to share them. Yeah, normally I don't have my, I am not, I'm not, uh, I, I don't care about any censorship. You can do whatever you want in this group. Yeah, if you mess up the group, you messed it up. I didn't mess it up. <laughs> so the responsibility is completely up to you. I just give you the platform and you just try to manage yourself and keep up the spirit that you want. And therefore, you remember this morning session, not much talking. Sometimes it's not necessary to talk. Just practice. Stay for yourself. Do the things that you think are good. Yeah? Everybody posts many things which is good, which is nice to read. Okay, do them. Do them also by yourself. I think this is also a, a very important and first step. Yeah, not just sharing what you think is helpful, but especially you must be the one representing what you start to share there. If you don't do it, well, then you see again, very much like in our philosophy as well, then the inside does not meet the outside. The actions don't meet the intentions. Yeah, whatever you create in the mind does not manifest with the words you speak and with the actions you do. And this is why things become disbalanced and unharmonic. Because the inside and the outside does not fit to each other. Yeah. And in this sense, I'm wishing you a nice Sunday. And yeah, it was actually really, really nice and heavy rain, as you saw, um, but, okay, anyway, see you next time again, and yeah, try to keep up the practice, ah, yes, and one more thing, you can do all these exercises also seated, because normally they are even seated exercises, so, and once you know how to do them, when you feel comfortable doing them, then feel free and go into the senior residences and go to all the people that are not able to move anymore, at least not with the legs, so that are mostly seated and you can feel free to share just these simple movements with them. Before they do nothing, it's better they do that. And yes, but we will get into more detail about these things at a later point. Until then, have a nice Sunday. See you soon again.